Hello and welcome to the third iteration of Ads24 Food for Thought. What we have today are people hacking taste buds, hacking expectations, and getting people to think differently about robots versus humans and what the future holds for us all. So where are we today in the fight between humans and robots? Where will our businesses be by 2030? And how do we prepare for this journey? I want to thank you for being here with us and I hope you're ready to have your minds blown. I'm not saying the Blackberry's idea was wrong when they started. I'm suggesting that at some point it was no longer right. If you've spent a year developing something that was the best way to do it, and then you finish that entire process, and then the next day, a new tool comes out that can do it better and more efficiently, you owe it to your business to solve it with a new way. And that's the world we live in now. Things change fast and things get better quickly. And this was the premise of the book that I wrote called Legacy. Why legacy thinking is a silent killer of innovation. Progress is a wave. And you can either decide to be on the one side where you're going with the future and letting it take you to new heights, we are going to stick your ground, dig your heels in, and be drowned and left behind forever. And I cannot think of a more powerful time to be human and be able to ride this wave of artificial intelligence. AI is IA. It's intelligence assistance. MIT reported back in the, in the, in the trend survey that organizations that had their employee experience in the top quartile we're experiencing 25% higher profits and customer satisfaction. Belonging, belonging is the most fundamental basic human need. So connection is what we need to be striving for, what we need to be looking for in this world of technological advancement. For me, this is, a, this is a really important event, and events like this, because we live in a hyper-informed society where everything, all the information we could possibly want to access is on our phones. But how do you filter? There's so much out there. They had the courage to present extreme opposite ends of the same argument, which made sure that you as an executive could find your place on either side or somewhere in the middle where you could take away and apply to your business. Because if it's an opinion you form for yourself, you're a lot more likely to do something with it. And that, to me, is the challenge, is people don't walk away from today having made notes. They have to walk away from today to make actions. Mm -hmm.